for our helicopter, we'll be using a Diamond Clear 260. We've inflated about 15 inches of it. That's more than enough. We'll only use about six or eight inches of it. We've got a Lime Green 260 with about a five inch tail left on it. We've got a Dark Green 160 with about a four inch tail on it. And we've got a Black 160 also with about a four inch tail on it. We're going to start with our black. Make sure it's kind of soft. We're going to make about seven or eight inch bubble and we're going to take that off. Secure the ends. We'll be reusing more of this. So tie your ends off. Set that aside. We'll come back to it momentarily. Now we're going to make another bubble. We need it to be the same size as that first one. So, another bubble. And again, we're going to detach this from the other. Again, keeping this because we'll use a little bit more of this. And then, one more piece. Make about a two and a half inch bubble, a little small half inch bubble that we make into an ear twist, another half inch bubble which again we will ear twist. So we now have our two and a half inch bubble and two ear twists. We need one more bubble the same size as this first one. So pull it over and we're going to detach the rest of this. We won't be needing any more of that. Tie this off like that. We'll take a moment to clean some of these up. Now we'll take these two black pieces that we have, find the halfway point, make it fold it in half again, making two bubbles of each one, and we'll take and join those at the middle. That will be our main rotor. This will be our tail rotor. So we'll set those aside for the moment. Now we'll take our lime green 260. We're going to make a tulip twist on the end, so get the knot and the nozzle on the end of your finger. Push it in about to your first knuckle. Reach through the balloon, grabbing the knot. Pull your finger out and then twist, making sure the knot is on this side. There's our tulip twist. Now we're going to take our main rotor and twist that in below the tulip twist. Again, making sure that we keep that knot on this side here. Now the knot is captured in there and can't come out, so you don't have to worry about your tulip twist coming undone. Now, go down about two inches, make a half inch bubble, make that into an ear twist, another half inch bubble, make that into an ear twist as well, so we now have two ear twists there. Now we're going to make a large fold twist, and this one's going to take about eight or so inches of balloon to make a rather large fold twist, probably eight and a half to nine inches. We've got about a five inch fold there. Twist that into the back of your ear twist here. Now go back, squeeze it gently. Go back just past your rotors. Twist a bubble. Make a small half inch bubble. Make that into an ear twist. Turn that up. Now go up about halfway on that. Make another half inch bubble and make that in your ear twist. So we now have that configuration there. Now with this left over in the end, squeeze it out gently. Make a small bubble in the end and then we're going to take our tail rotor. We want to pass this bubble in between the two ear twists and around to lock it. And then center your ear twists opposite each other in the two rotors. So now we have our tail rotor and our main rotor up on top. There's the beginning of a helicopter. Now we're going to take our diamond clear and what you want to do is we're going to make a fold twist that's going to be the size to fit just inside there. Or actually we're going to make a, a locking twist. So lock it in with your nozzle and figure out 
about where it would line up with the hole. As you can see through the clear there. Twist that and then bring it back along itself and make another bubble the same size. And twist that in around the body of your helicopter. I'm going to take this off and then twist this in to secure it really good. Now we're going to take and bring our two bubbles here that we've created. Twist them once or twice to lock them in. We want to push them into the gap here. This will make a glass for our cockpit. So now we have a nice little glass cockpit in our helicopter. Now we're going to take our dark green 160. And I've left a little excess when I tied the knot. I made sure there was some extra on the end there. So now we're going to take and make about a three inch bubble. Make a little half inch bubble for an ear twist. Then we're going to make about a seven inch bubble. Another half inch bubble and an ear twist. And then we're going to come back up and make a bubble slightly shorter than this one. Probably about a five inch, five and a half inch bubble. So that we get a nice little triangle like that. This will be one of our landing skids. Now we're going to repeat the process and the easiest way to do that is just to lay it alongside and follow it. Make the first bubble, followed by the first ear twist, follow along the bottom, make your second bubble, followed by another ear twist. And our last bubble. Sometimes we have to stretch it a little bit. We're going to bring this up in, bring it around, and then that little bit of extra end that I had there will tie off to the last portion of our balloon there. I'll trim this excess off here. We have our two landing skids. This bubble is not wanting to stay very well. Ear twist back in there. Okay, now, sort of like a butterfly wing, we're going to take this, bring it in from the back, and then bring it down underneath the body of the helicopter. And then we'll cross them over once or twice to lock them in place. And now we just need to take, make sure the short ends of our triangles are facing to the front. Position our ear twist so everything sits properly. Position our skids so that they're both on the bottom. And we have to reshape them slightly. Get it all where we want it to be. And now we've got a little helicopter with skids.